The next position of carry that I like to discuss is what I refer to as inside the waistband, strong side, behind the hip. It is far and away the concealed position that I see most people carrying in, and for all intents and purposes, it is a very, very efficient position to carry. I've carried in this position for a long time, and uh, I still do from time to time. Well, as you probably can or cannot see right now, I'm carrying a full-size 1911 behind the hip. That's a whole lot of gun and not a whole lot of me. I weigh about 155 pounds, so that's an awfully big gun for somebody my stature. So you can see just how effective you can conceal a large frame handgun. Well, however, it does require you to really go undergo a, a considerable amount of additional training as there is an additional step that is required in the draw stroke. There isn't an open holster for you to just grab out of, so it's not as consistent as it would be if you're taking that training from, let's say, a competition setting or a duty setting where you have an open rig. You do have to reach across your body, rip that cover garment up, and get a full purchase on the handgun before you can draw it out of the holster and orient it towards the target. So that is an important consideration to make when you are going to start carrying strong side inside the waistband behind the hip. As with the previous methods of carry that we've talked about, holster choice is still an extremely important consideration when it comes to this method of carry. You want a good quality rigid holster that's going to afford you great comfort while you're carrying, as well as the ability to reholster one-handed if need be. That being said, my personal choice for this method of carry is always going to be the Raven Concealment Phantom. It is an extremely rigid holster, allows me to reholster one-handed. It's tremendous quality, made of sturdy Kydex, and this is something that I really look for when it comes to carrying inside the waistband behind the hip.